welcome back to Moments with Mary. Today we're going to make Whimsy jars. Um, I picked these little jars up at the dollar store. They were three dollars for the three. And then I bought some glitter. And I stopped on the side of the road and I got some dandelions. And then I got moss just just from the the woods so that we can make a forest whimsy jar. So, we'll get right into it and start making our first jar. Our first one I think we will make will be the jar of wishes. These are just bits of like suede leather out of an old jacket that I had. So, we made them and then I hole punched a hole in them and wrote on them with a permanent marker and we'll be tying them with a piece of jute string. You can get these at the dollar store. If you'd like to add lace, we can get this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar a bolt. So we're just going to get right into it. We're going to make the wishes jars. So on the dandelions, you will to take the top of the dandelions and take the seeds off and put them in the jar. A lot of us as kids have blown these into the wind and they're basically just seed pods are what they are and made wishes on them. So we're just going to fill this little jar full of these little seed pods and that is going to be our, woo, they're going everywhere, our wishes jars. So once we get them all in there, if we can keep them captured, don't do this in front of a fan because they'll blow everywhere and then you'll have little seed pods all over your your house so you want to close these little jars up once you get all of your wishes in there you're going to take your wishes tag that you've already pre-made and like I said I just cut these out of a old suede leather jacket that I had gotten from a thrift store you're going to tie your tag onto your jar I think I want to open this and put it in there before I close it so that it doesn't interfere with my latch. So we're going to just tie this around our jar, make a little tiny bow. Let's get it a little more centered. Just tie a little, little shirt tail bow here, or shoestring bow. And that's our wishes. Now if you want to put lace on them and use that, you can. You can do whatever really that you would like so that um, it pretties it up. I like the plain and the simple because we live in the country and this is going to be kind of sitting on my windowsill. The next one we're going to do is going to be the forest. So this is where we're going to put the moss. I've dampened the moss a little bit so that when it sets it will kind of sweat and uh, keep condensation in there to keep the moss watered. So you're just going to take a little tiny bit of it and put it down in your jar. It'll be a little bit muddy so don't you know don't worry about that. It'll be a little bit muddy on your fingers but you can wipe that off. Just put it down inside the jar and kind of looks like this. And then you want to just go ahead and close that. In this one, you're going to use your tag that says forest. The reason it says forest is because once it starts heating up, it'll start smelling like the outdoors and be kind of foresty smelling. So again, we're going to put this before we latch it. We'll put that on and we'll latch it down. And on the moss, since it is a living item, you want to open it occasionally just to kind of let the air exchange so that it doesn't burn or just die off because it's not getting any fresh air. So, you know, you want to you want to do that. And these are really cute little gifts for anybody that is into the whimsy stuff. Um, you know, just fairy gardens, anything like that. These are really good little little gifts and the little tags make them look kind of antique -y. so the third one we're going to make is going to be called stardust 
And for the Stardust, I've purchased glitter from the dollar store. These are a pack of four for a dollar fifty. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open these up and cut them open. It's much easier. And I'm just going to use the silver and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to sprinkle the silver glitter into the jar. This didn't come out very fast so I think I'm going to open the whole thing and try not to shoot it everywhere. Hmm. It's not going to open so we're going to have to shake it. So we'll just shake glitter in there and this is going to be our stardust. You can put as much in there as you'd like and just close it up and then shake your jar around a little bit so it kind of sticks to your edges and then you can kind of see it sparkling. So again we're going to take our jute string and thread it through our little leather tag that we've made and we're going to tie that right around there. Looks like we have wishes blowing everywhere so that's a neat thing. And then we're just going to tie it in another little bow here. You can sit these on your dresser, in your window sill, just, just anywhere. They're just a whimsy that is kind of cute and artsy for, for a shelf or window sill or you know, on top of your dresser. And as you can see, this one is starting to get a little cloudy. It's because of the condensation that's already starting to form. So here you have it. You have wishes. You have a scent of the forest, and you have some star dust that will shake it around a little bit, and you can kind of see it on the jar. And then, you know, it'll fall off or whatever. Just shake it if you want it to be up in the jar more. But that's it. Quick and easy whimsy. So, thank you for watching our video. Like and subscribe, and please leave comments. And if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments. Thank you so much.